I got laid off. I got fired. I got fired. But here's the thing. I was a binge guy. I remember seeing her at the local titty bar. I feel dirty right now just telling it into a microphone. We're broken around here. Working man is Everybody, welcome back to the Working Class Olds Podcast. I'm your host, Ed McGowan, here in a break room with my co-host, Josh Ricardo. What's up, buddy? Eddie! <laughs> you What's doing? up, dude? It's fucking hot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> what is it with... So why does... Why does weather affect you so? Much? I'm just I'm like getting your all, mood, your general mood. Here's the thing, like I'm just yo because I'm just not happy with myself. I think deep down, like okay. So, so this is what I was gonna ask you because okay. I know if I'm carrying three or four extra pounds and I feel bloated and sweaty, I feel fatter than I've ever felt. Yes, yeah, yeah. So are you partially I've, because of the way you feel physically? I feel super out of shape right now. Okay, and it's it's just the because heat really I'm does sweaty. pronounce that. It's you know it's it's like the it's this area here. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, even yeah. so much the balls as it is like the fucking where the belt goes. You know that yeah. belt, the waistband, that sweat Ugh. meets the the pressure, dude. And then you know it's like all of a sudden I got like heat acne. You ever get that? No. Yeah, that's a fat guy thing. Yeah, heat <laughs> acne. Can't say I've been through the heat acne <laughs> portion of life yet. That was the worst. <laughs> it's still early. I'm only forty three. <laughs> so embarrassing. I um, that's honestly, it's starting to get to a point now for me where vanity is taking not a backseat, but definitely it's starting to even out where I want to stay thin solely because I don't like the way it feels. Oh yeah, yeah, just solely because the way it it's, feels. It's not so much right the appearance as it's much the, as it is. It's fucking with my knee. You yeah, know what I mean? like, like so my like, hip is a little. You know, Lauren yeah. and I um, during the the holiday, right, the Fourth of July, we kind of went not crazy, but like two days of just a lot of food. You know, like oh, yeah. sugary foods. Yeah, like yeah. I had a milkshake out of nowhere. Ooh, yeah. Just like it, we really enjoyed ourselves. Where'd you get the milkshake? Let's talk uh, about that. Oh man, so this is what's great. I had two in a row. <laughs> I pulled a double duty on the same day. No, 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 no. I can't do shit like that. that was the same like, that's day. insane. Yeah, but so um, <laughs> it's like a child. Fourth of July. <laughs> uh huh. Lauren's like, we invited some people over from the building. Yeah. But in the mornings, because my kid gets up. This is the thing. I've done more before noon. Yeah. Yeah. Than probably ninety percent of the world. Yeah, I'm a, a fucking especially on a holiday. Like I'm up at six with this guy. I got to take him somewhere. So people are coming over at four. I take him to the park, and we have a little like daddy son thing where I get him ice cream at the park. But Lauren's like, listen, I'm making this giant cookie for this party, and he's gonna have some. So try not to do ice cream because he's gonna have more giant sugar cookie, later. Like, in, like a like a like big a, sheet tray cookie, cookie? Yeah, but Ooh, like frosty bro. and it's some strawberries on it, oh, but man. sugary. So she's like, just, you know, yeah. let's try to minus out the sugar. Yeah. We're at the playground. And here's the thing. The fucking ice cream truck is his dream. But we never, it's too early for the ice cream truck. So I was going to stop at like a Baskin Robbins on the way. So I told him this time around, we're going to have a cookie later today. So, you know, no treat after this. First time all summer, this ice cream lady, <laughs> she's blaring it. She might as well drove it into the playground on the f slide oh, where he was at. She knows and how he, to get her fucking and he money. saw this yeah. and it was there was yeah. just no way. Yep. So I it's a so <laughs> but it was one of those soft serve trucks. Not like the standard, you know, here's a thing in a wrapper. Yeah, right. It, it's actually making the ice cream there. Yeah. So he had one in a cup with sprinkles. So I'm like, I'm just gonna get a shake. So I had a black and white shake. And of course this dude crushes that ice cream and he wants to drink my shake. Yeah. And the next day, I had another shake, black and white, and f seven chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, dude. That's and like, my stomach. Yeah. I, I was going to sleep last night, and I was burping, and my stomach was all, like, fat and shit. And you know, it kind of pronounces any kind of, like, tit you might have. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I felt like that E.T. body. Dude, I, oh. my, my titties were on display the other night. I fucking I had a show, and I I was like, oh, let me change up. You know, I always wear the same shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> I got that like, shirt. I got like two shirts. Yeah, yeah, long sleeve uh, shirt. Yeah, yeah, and I'm like, oh, let me switch it up. And uh, I put on a shirt, that, and I was like, I was looking at myself. I, take a, I took a piss. I was like, I'm like, man, I am titty. <laughs> I am all titty tonight, man, and I bombed my fucking ass off. It was off, in dude. your head? I bombed my Cause, tits off. Because <laughs> <laughs> the whole time, you're, after each joke's bomb, you're going, you're looking at my tits right now. But <laughs> every time a joke doesn't go over, <laughs> my tits. <laughs> and that one didn't work, and I got tits. <laughs> it's always <laughs> dude, I Whenever I put on weight, it's like a, I've even talked to doctors about it. It's not like a crazy amount of bitch tit, 
but I got like a Italian guy. Like if I don't if I don't stay thin, thin, I could get that like fat guy tit. Yeah. And it looks weird on your body if you're it, not totally fat. It just looks like you need a bra. Yeah, because they kind of, it's more noticeable or something yeah, like that, right? Yeah, it's something it's like about you it. Just see if it. I was like James Gandolfini fat, yeah. you're like, okay, because he's like got arms but a gut. Well, you know what it is? I realize now why so many t shirts have shit written across the top there. <laughs> Cover your tits. <laughs> <laughs> and hides it. <laughs> the ladies, there's no nothing on their shirts. <laughs> it's funny because all, all you wear is like free shit you've got. No, it's Maybe it's because you're wearing promo <laughs> shit everywhere you go. <laughs> Promotional considerations dude, paid for by the following. Your old drawer. This shirt's got to be 18 years old, dude. <laughs> like, I don't own many. Sh- I don't, the only shirts I own with stuff on them, I wear on show. Uh, yeah. <laughs> In my real life, I don't wear yeah, anything. You wear, like, you just it's must, all blank. Yeah, yeah you're, in, you're. I don't you're, want anything to do with anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I man, I gotta, especially with this heat, you gotta stay, you gotta, does it make you wanna drop weight? It's just your diet, right? It makes you wanna drop weight, uh, of course, certainly. But like, it, it's also like, now, I don't want to transition from this though, but did you ever, so working outside, you used to you used to sell cars. Yeah, that's the most outside I've ever worked. That's is, the most outside, yeah. yeah. Is that, that sucked. Yeah. Because you're where, you know, it also sucked going to an office in the summer, five days a week. Same way in New York, it's Beca- tough dude. because that subway is. It, it, oh. And you were there was no dude. now um, casual like office casuals a thing now. Yeah, so you can get away with like all these different variations of this is work attire now. Yeah, yeah. before there was no sliding scales like you're wearing khakis if you're lucky and a button up for sure, and if you're lucky, not a tie. But most of the time you had to wear a tie. Yeah, see, I never had to do that. Uh, I worked a gym job where they, they, I was a supervisor, and they wanted me to wear a fucking jacket and tie every Ooh, day at a gym and dress shoes at. Were the you like gym. sales? No, Ugh. it was just like some stupid thing put into effect because of this particular um, place where the gym was located. They thought it would look the members would appreciate it more. I don't want to say it on air, but I'll tell you off air. But it was like, why, why am I, because I was coming from the 24-hour fitness family, if oh, you will. Yeah, yeah, like LA where, fitness, Yeah, where you were wearing jump. workout yeah, shit. Yeah, right, yeah. Even the guy making 100000 the GM was yeah. wearing workout gear. Yeah, right. So when they hired me, that's they're like, usually, usually what that's, gyms are. You're yeah, supposed right. to look like a guy who works out. Yeah, right. Not wear a suit and tie, but yeah. that sucked. Selling cars in the heat, Cause you got the asphalt, and I'm yeah. selling like shitty used cars by a highway. Yeah, dude. Something about being near all that asphalt. It's dude that it's cause it's black oh, and the sun dude. is just baking that fucking and the it, the car exhaust like cause the heat yeah just makes everything there's no more shade. yeah it's not like a smell tree. different it's there's just, not like trees or anything like that to cut to get a little shade oh nah, and it's just man. like chain links fence and then all that trash from the highway yeah. it just it it made you feel shitty and it, you felt shitty just because the heat yeah i was fucked there's this dude the uh mechanic guy was from manila filipino dude uh-huh His name was merlin i don't think he spoke but like five words of english but he had a little hut he built to work on the little car parts because uh, everything he was doing was always like they paid him because he knew how to right make things run for like five minutes yeah yeah the honey the, the honey rig the, the, yeah, he, yeah, he's yeah. that dude yeah i don't know how he would do was it. his name merlin or Mer- just he was a wizard? no no his name is merlin <laughs> his name really was merlin. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but he was like <laughs> it's a pretty actual <laughs> yeah if you know like real filipinos from the philippines it's a pretty common name oh it is yeah, okay merlin. okay it just uh, sounds like somebody's like this guy's a real fucking <laughs> wizard <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. i mean it sued him <laughs> <laughs> and every time they call me i like he had this really chubby baby face and like this really great head of hair. Yeah. And he had one tooth that, I mean, he had all his teeth, but one of them was like really brown. Oh. And every I time. I was going to say one of them was really big. You ever see somebody <laughs> like that? Isn't that funny <laughs> how, how those guys' teeth get one like really How'd that one get so big? So long. What the fuck is it's that? like he just keeps coming out of the. Fucking t- file that down. <laughs> it's like those clowns that pull out the handkerchiefs. <laughs> but it's always like someone that has some severe like drug issues oh, that yeah, have those yeah. kind of teeth. Oh, right. It's never like just this normal guy. No. Just yeah, walks yeah. around with one tusk. <laughs> it's always a guy. You, you never see a guy like, hey, I got a normal job. <laughs> like one long fucking tusk. I had family members that got hooked on drugs where you would see them every year for a while and then all of a sudden that that one tooth would be so long 
And like, I remember oh. five years ago, that tooth was normal. So crazy. How does it keep getting longer? Oh, dude, it's so gross, dude. <laughs> it's like a it's rodent. It's like a corpse, or it keeps growing its little fucking <laughs> corpse nails. Fingernails. <laughs> So Merlin would build so like Merlin, a little hut. So Merlin, we'd call him in during the summer to like do some kind of you know shady shit, and his only response would be like, "Okay," like that's exactly how he sounded. <laughs> and he would go in this hut, and this hut because he had built it himself was like tarp and canvas, and like his tools that he would use there, and it must have been fifteen to twenty degrees hotter than outside. Oh, why? Because he, because of the way it was built, it's why would trapping he do heat. That? Oh, I thought you were gonna say he had this genius way of staying cool. No, he, he wasn't even sweating in there. I just think because Manila's so hot, wow. his body's like this is sh- nothing to me. So it's like just keeping the sun off him. I think he thing? liked it. Wow, that's fucking nuts, dude. Yeah. See, the thing about working at the like the jobs I worked outside is like you could always just like soak a t-shirt. Tie it around your head. That's so you funny know you say that because the water park, I, the park I take leave on to, there's a water thing there. Yeah. And the, of course, the people who are supposed to upkeep the park are degenerate people. Oh, yeah. They're all hypes in some way, either crack or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And two of these idiots were hanging out, like with the little trash can. Like they, they shouldn't be there, but they're just, you know, shooting shit. Yeah. And they're dunking their head in the water. Oh, yeah, yeah. One guy from the, this Mexican dude from the deli ran over to dunk his head in yeah. the free water. It's like a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's like a low life thing. Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just uh, like a soaked t shirt, <laughs> the, the, the sleeves around your head. And it was like, now I just have this wet head to cool off. You know what like, I mean? You know what's funny is I knew that move because I've seen people I'm related to. Like if I've probably done it because mm-hmm. I'm scum. Yeah. My son will never know that move. No. I hope. Good for him. Yeah, yeah, good for him. Well, he's good. He saw it. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to be interested in the move. <laughs> but he won't be doing the actual towel in the fucking dirty water, free water move. Yeah. It's so interesting. I just saw a comic talking about this. He goes, you know, I raised my kid. I put so much time into it. But there's, you know. He, and he had this story of this core memory that he had of like this Australian dude. But it's like, yeah, it's like you could do your best thing, but your son is still going to see oh, yeah. some dudes dunking their head. <laughs> like you, <laughs> like your dad, like trying to do the right by you. But, yeah. you know, like, yeah, dad, I yeah. want to be this guy with the gut. Yeah, I want to be that guy fucking <laughs> strutting around with on the a, unicycle. <laughs> dude, my son comes and says some uh, little Eddie McGowan shit like that. I'm slapping the <laughs> shit out of him. I don't care if they put me in prison. I, I, never, I told you that. I'll never forget. I had my jean jacket over my shoulder and my thumb out. My parents were like, what are you doing? I was like, mm, hitchhiking. <laughs> me. I'm being me. <laughs> it's like those kids that? That, that told like, oh, we always knew he'd be gay. We always knew it would be a garbage bag. <laughs> this little jean jacket. Since he was a little kid, we always knew. Yeah. Everybody knew. Nobody wanted to talk about it. We'll just wait till he figured try, it out. We always try to avoid the reality that Ed was always going to be a piece of trash. <laughs> Ever since he put his little jean jacket over his four-year-old shoulder. Stuck his thumb out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You were destined. Yeah, so good. You were destined to be you here, You could Ed. put a whole, like, Henry Hill uh, voiceover. Yeah. Ever since I was a little kid, I knew I would be a trash bag. <laughs> Oh my God! You look like a degenerate. <laughs> Smoking Newports. <laughs> a Forty-five uh, a Heineken. Uh, 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 <laughs> popping, popping lids off of beer bottles <laughs> with a lighter. lighter. <laughs> Every scumbag knows that. Oh, dude. Oh, uh, that's how you know you're with a scumbag. Dude, I could pop. I could pop a beer bottle with any a fork. <laughs> you could look any, at it. <laughs> anything. I could. I could put that espresso cup over there. I could pop. <laughs> I could pop a bottle. Yeah. Oh, Years I love that you know how to do that. Oh, it my really God. is the, the, it's like knowing where the fucking salad fork goes if you're a classy person. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. It's the it's opposite. The equivalent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's the polar opposite, but the same. <laughs> they should have like a, the scum, mirror a scumbag reflection. Olympics, and uh, that would be one of the events. Ooh, dude. That's That would funny. be one of the events, right? What would another event be? Uh, Siphoning gas. Siphoning gas. Yeah, sure. Uh, that's very good. Making change. How to make one meal into two. How to stretch one meal into a second meal and make that meal feel like a new meal. 
the fucking Are you kidding me? Bag Olympics. <laughs> oh my god! How to hot wire a car? <laughs> How to make dinner yeah. with just shredded cheese in a bag and a toaster and oh. two pieces of bread? That would be a show I would watch. Right? That had leftovers? Yep. You just call it leftovers. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And you just you got like a cabinet full of like just a, one can of tuna fish from 2008. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like just how do what are you making? That's That'd a be fun great. show. We combine the show where after they make it, they run it outside to another dirt bag in a car and he has to eat it while driving. <laughs> Both uh, our shows combined. Show. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. your other show. That show. That Yeah. Yeah, but you try. show them at separate times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're right. not one together. They're separate shows. I still want to make that show. It's like Game of Thrones. You don't just have Game of Thrones. You got the before the Thrones and the dragons and whatever. I was driving this morning. I, I came over here. I was eating a bacon egg and cheese as I drove. Oh, that's that's skills. That's level and, four. And cutting people off. Yeah, and yeah, <laughs> and and having ro- uh, road rage. Yeah, yeah, screaming at people as bacon's people flying. People don't know my... about bacon egg and cheese. That egg. And the bread and the bacon, the bacon causes such an interference. That's a hard meal to eat while driving. I'm impressed. Oh. Uh, Without the, spilling, because that people don't know the rules. The, the cheese, rules of it is you cannot yeah, spill yeah. anything of what you're eating while or, driving or it goes against your score. Or slow down any, you know, you, yeah. you, you have to drive as if you were Exactly. Eating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. As if you had two hands. This is a game that I play with just Josh. <laughs> As he's gripping the uh, the handle of these, like, dude, we don't we're have tr- to do this. We're trying to, <laughs> next is going to be surf and turf. This could be it on the. <laughs> dumping the, the hey, lobster dude, and butter. Take it in. <laughs> with the bib. I get the big, the big bib lobster up. bib. <laughs> Oh, my God. Nobody knows what the fuck we're talking about right now. <laughs> you know, I um, was thinking about office downtime. Cause I'm an office guy, and I feel like a lot of people who work on offices hear about this. When you have a place that has, like, oh, this is our slow part of the year, right. or everyone goes on vacay. Would you get summer Friday? Do you get summer Friday? A lot of people, yeah, I do get yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They call it something different, but it's summer Fridays. Uh-huh. Um, but that's when, when I had, like, one of those 15 people office jobs or it's like a small company. Oh, uh-huh. those would be the ones that you could do some fun shit at if you oh. were a degenerate oh. because no one like the supervisor wouldn't be there or there'd oh, be the sure. acting supervisor. Uh, someone's desk was not there so you could sit in it and fuck around or you can go out in the parking lot and do something like there's been so many times that i didn't smoke weed or drink but i would go out and talk to the guys that were out there smoking weed or having a drink during the day Mm -hmm. or doing something dumb in one of the offices because the door was shut like just ridiculous stuff in offices you can do during the summer if it's a small enough company the best the i think the top of the line though is just getting out early just, oh yeah, you just feel like getting out early. There was there's something to that dopamine rush of when they go. You don't know if they're gonna do it because sometimes they just won't. They won't let you out early before a holiday. Back in the day, like in oh, our yeah. office, yeah. But like, hey, we met our deliverables. Enjoy the rest of the day. When you get that email and you think it's like the end, the last day of school, <laughs> dude. You're a grown just, man. Everything goes up in the air. You're just running out the yeah. door. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then you pay for it when you come back to the office because you didn't finish like seven things you yeah, had to yeah. get done. Yep. The um, I so I had a couple instances of that. So when I was young, when I worked at the uh, my high school as the janitor, um, we had a time clock. Oh. We had a time clock, and there would be like if it wasn't busy and. You know, we got all our shit done. One guy would stay and clock everybody out because you just had to, you know, it just what would had, that guy get. What was his? Juice? Well, it was just a rotating thing. Okay. Like, hey, yo, you want to clock You're everybody up. out? Yeah, it's your turn this week. Yeah, right. Um, and that was such a great feeling. Oh, yeah. And then even if you were the guy that had to clock everybody out. You just sleep. You're doing nothing. You just feet up. Yeah. Just in yeah, the in it's the your office. Time, yeah. Baby. Just fucking. You know, and I was a kid too, so I would just, you know, get in the trail, you know, go around snooping in fucking teachers, uh, you know, drawers and stuff oh, like man. that. If I had access, oh, dude, that kind of access, I would as just a rummage. Oh, rummage I'm looking through at all your shit. Yeah, rummaging through a teacher's desk, lockers, everything, all that stuff. Lockers, I'm not stealing, but I'll lockers, lo- I wouldn't do just because. But it you know, was, anything that I wasn't supposed to, anything that was I could open, I was gonna open. Teachers' door, the, the classroom doors was so easy because we just had those keys. 
and then I'm you just, just nosy. I don't want to yeah. take anything from. You. I'm just, just nosy. kicking around. I'm just kicking yeah. around in a fucking teacher's thing. Yeah, it's so crazy to be at like a you know you think about like a 28, 32 year old yeah. teacher and just some fourteen year old kid just, just going, going through your <laughs> shit. <laughs> Kind of stuff did you find? Not nothing. I just really. imagine like Kevin McAllister going through Buzz's trunk. It's just you and everyone's. Just like, oh, what's oh, what is oh, oh, let's look at this. Oh, oxycodone. Yeah, you know, or it's, <laughs> oh, who's on I'm oxy? Just, like walking around in a, like a teacher's tie. You know, his spare tie. <laughs> I got that on, like pretending I'm a teacher. You know, <laughs> it's just stupid shit. <laughs> That sounds like a blast. <laughs> that was so cool. You're wearing your whatever. You're a janitor. Uh, yeah, my Metallica T-shirt. Your garb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that, you, uh, so that was a job that we would get out of this. And then there was the other jobs where it's like it's quiet, and you could just hey, I gotta run a few errands, yeah. and you're just like I'm home. Yeah. You know, if you need me, I'm on email. You're kind of yeah. just like, I just left. Yeah. Nobody knows I left, but like nobody cares. But I didn't officially I'm still on the clock. Yeah. But nothing's you're like, you just take a risk. You're like, nothing's going to happen. I'm going home. Isn't that so funny? Like the the little stuff we thought were like, oh, yeah, I'm not working. I'm not I'm only taking a couple hours for myself oh, here. Wow. And then you see. Your higher ups and the kind of time they take. Oh, right. And you, they, are, they don't feel bad. No. They are mad at you for doing it. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, just fucking take it. Take the time. Take it's your time. It's such a time. crazy thing. Like, I grew up and I had such reverence for, like, work and how important it is. And now I'm older. I'm just like, dude, it's it's all a fucking sham, dude. It's like, it's a just, work. It's, it's all a work. It's But it's like, it's for these people, these it ain't I'm, for I'm, me, bro. No, yeah, I'm working for these these people. These, yeah. these uh, I'm working for a, a share a shareholder's price. Yeah, that's that's what I'm working for. I'm making sure the shareholders happy, and I'm not even working directly for that. I'm just working to make sure that uh, I keep the job that I have. <laughs> that's really at the end of the day. But my you're perspective has totally changed. Now I just want to the like my direct boss. I just want to make his life easy. Yep. And he makes my life easy. Yeah. And that's all I uh, care the, about. My big picture is. I, I don't care about doing a great job. Like, I just want the guy that I'm like. I'm who, cool whoever with. has my back, I want them to go. I'm so glad I have that person right. on my team. And in the end, that's all that fucking matters. Period. The, the, the job itself is most times, nine times out of 10, yeah. 99 times out of 100 yeah. is fucking meaningless. Yep. But it's just the, the people part is the only part that yeah. really. Makes a difference. But it's only the people that are like, you're cool with. Because yeah, then yeah, there's yeah, those yeah. bosses that are like, you know, the fucking Lumbergs, you yeah. know, the fucking. Yeah. They're trying to move up, yeah, punch you, their dude. ticket. Yeah, Stop yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking dick, yeah. dude. Did you ever do any of those company picnic things when you were in advertising? Did they do that kind of stuff? We would have like nights firm? out. We would have like, uh, no. it was always like a night out. Uh, I don't think it was ever like a. For a while there, I worked for a place that had like company picnics every summer. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I feel like I went to one once. Maybe when I was working at that telemarketing place, they had something. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, it was, of all jobs, they uh, have that. The dirt baggiest yeah, yeah, thing. Well, why? Yeah, I don't even know. Or maybe it was a restaurant job or something. Like, it was. If, I felt like it was like a. Uh, it was at a park where you play like games and stuff. Yeah, it's like one of those things. Oh, you know what it was? I and it was like just like the Christmas party where I just brought all my regular friends <laughs> and we ruined it. You know what I mean? It was like one of those it was like just all the guys I hung out with and, and drank in the woods with, like my whole crew. No outside friends allowed. <laughs> just show up with my crew. Jesus. <laughs> and just ruin everybody's just good see time. You guys fire you. <laughs> That's so funny that you just ruin oh, company. Yeah. And I wouldn't even, and not even on purpose. You know what I mean? No, I would I just, just think, be so hey, stupid. Wait, do you get a look? My friends are so fun. Yeah, yeah, they're this, great. You guys are gonna love yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> These are the kind of guys you want to have around your house. <laughs> <laughs> These are the kind of guys you want to invite over when you're having a shindig. <laughs> I uh, I never have fun at those. It's just a weird thing to make because you see people out of their office clothes; they don't look right. My wife's got to go to one. Uh, she has they always. One. You ever see what people pick to wear when they have to not be in the office? There are some people that work in offices. I think that 
they must have dressed for an office since they were like four years old. Oh, yeah. Because then you have to make them wear like the company picnic shirt, and then they got to match it with something, and they don't know what. The, like, and the shoes are always still kind of dress shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, the, they don't know. They don't right? know what they're they doing. They think it's a, They think this means something. It's it's a confusing. But then they, it, I, it it's confusing to yeah. people, right? Because it's still a work event. <laughs> Right, it, you can't just dress like the a shirt in into the khaki oh, shorts man. with the belt. I feel so bad for that. Hey, That's man, such, a, such what an are you uncomfortable. Doing? Yeah, and then you got to, and then a lot of them get sunburned easy, so they got to dress for the sun because they're inside all the time. So yeah. they got to wear the dopey hat. That's dude. And I'm the totally, I'm dopey. Well, hat, I mean, bro, you got skin cancer. <laughs> <laughs> you fought a lot of wars out there in Atlantic City. <laughs> this guy fought on the beaches of Atlantic City. <laughs> He stormed the beaches of Atlantic City, <laughs> and he came away with the scars to tell. <laughs> I should put that picture up. That's a good fucking picture. <laughs> oh my! I mean, God. if you could remember Have I told that, that for, story, the sunburn. I'm, I don't see how you haven't told that story. Where you, where you both, uh, you and the other guy. Oh, dude, that whole we cr- brought it up a number of times. That whole cr- oh, we did. Okay, yeah. yeah. I don't know if you told the story, but we definitely have referenced it. I got the sunburn, so I pass out. It's like three in the morning. Everybody goes home. Everybody's like, "Okay, this was fun." I mean, the dishwasher. Like, <laughs> we're a year in, and you're repeating a story already. Probably. I already said it. I don't know. Uh, That's, I, I, right. Well, we got. We kind of got to say something. Now, I gotta right? say it. Yeah, yeah. 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 We're we breaking my balls. Uh, I'm in the middle of fucking telling the story again. <laughs> you're tell the story again, like my fucking grandfather after ten beers. <laughs> I'm going to edit all of this out. This is all. It's going to be a 20 minute episode. <laughs> Dude, I might have my grandfather ask me if I ate my Hawaiian grandfather. He would get to his 10th beer and from beer 10 to beer 20, he would ask me if I ate. Like, you, hey, you eat? You eat? You eat? <laughs> That's pigeon English, right? It yeah, was so yeah, yeah. thick. Uh-huh. He would just grab you by the back of your neck. Hey, you eat? You eat, and he would act, like I bring friends over, like my high school football friends, uh-huh. and they would go like, "Hey, your grandfather keeps like, squeezing my neck, oh, dude. <laughs> and asking me if I ate." <laughs> oh, dude. Like, I, I don't worry about it. He's like, he's all right. <laughs> so would he then sit down and make you food? No, he didn't do shit. He would just point where the food was, and then what's fucked up oh, is if there was no get... food there, he would get my grandmother to so make he it. wants you to go. Hey, did you eat? He wants to make sure you ate. Even though he hasn't bought anything, he could be right. at someone else's house. Even oh, he would be, man. he would open, he because he's oh, insane. Oh man, what a pain it is! I know, he's a oh, pain. Man. He's one of those dudes too that like. By the time, I got to be fourteen, thir- younger, thirteen, my uncles were done with him. Oh really? Because they His would, sons? Cause they yeah, because not done with him like they wouldn't see him anymore. They we all still done partied, his, done but, like I would antics. be in charge of him. Oh. In the sense of when they were growing up, he would get drunk and wouldn't want to leave. And we would they would try to get him out of parties uh, and my grandmother would be in the car with all the kids and she'd have to send the boys in to go get go his get ass. Your grandfather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that became my job oh, my. when I was twelve and I became so good at tricking this dude into the fucking car. <laughs> and you come in, you're like, hey, do you oh, eat? I'd be able, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you eat? I would, ah. I would, fly, like I would on, dangle that on fucker. A fishing hook? No, no. They'd just be like, oh, we're going to another party, or no, uh, we're going. I got another one. We're going to. We got to scoop up these things over here. And dude, he would, that's crazy. I could figure out As how to get. Old? I could wrangle a pack of four drunk Hawaiian dudes anywhere in the world right now. Wow. Just, I would know exactly what to say to them, exactly what to do, and we would be on our way. Oh man. God it's damn. one of my gifts. One That's time a crazy skill at a have. Hawaiian concert, he sat by the bar the whole concert. My cousin's in a really famous Hawaiian band. It's like I was 12 years old. We get in there, of course, two hours early because we're, we're all family. So we were in the green room, this poor guy. I mean, like sold out this uh, this venue. But of course, everyone has to be in the green room. Yeah. Everyone and the other guys in the band, we're not related to them, but they're uh, Hawaiian. So they're like, yeah. they're letting it happen because they know how it is with Hawaiian style shit. You can't just like tell the family to get out of the green room. Ugh. And people are coming in and out of the green room. Like they're hanging out in there like with them. Uh, My grandfather posts up at the bar and he doesn't even go into the showroom. He's standing by the bar, and he's charming before the tenth beer. So he's like, "Oh, sure." So people are just buying him beers. So every time someone comes by a beer, if they bought him a beer before, 
they'd buy him a beer again because he would say some funny shit to them. So by the time the end of the concert, he can't stand up. He's leaning against the wall. <sighs> and all my uncles bail on me. Because <laughs> I have to carry him now. I can't just oh, I can't just walk him out. You, I got to carry his you ass. You fucking inherited this yeah. shit. Yeah. This so is now a, I'm this is like your bar mitzvah. <laughs> so I'm waiting. This is shit becoming a man. <laughs> Seriously. It's like when you send that Native American boy into the woods and if he comes out alive, he's, he's a man. Everyone left. It was me. <laughs> The f- and the like hey, two guys from the band, Jimmy, not even my cousin. Like Jimmy Cow, hey, look at you, you broken cherry. Hey. <laughs> and I come, the doors open, and I thought everyone had like dispersed, you know, parking lot, whatever. Everyone from the concert essentially is outside of the venue, just chatting. You know, Hawaiian people are fucking. They don't go. Everybody's home. hanging out. No yeah. one goes home. Yeah, yeah, sure. They see his ass, and he's yelling. Uh. And there's like a phrase in Hawaiian where it's like one more time, like sing that one more. Like, he's just yelling Hanaho, drunk. He's screaming it. And I'm can't, he's draped over me. And my uncle is like, the C's part of people. Because <laughs> everyone remembers his drunk ass. Because they all probably at one point have bought him a beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they are yelling his, they're yelling Hanaho in his name. Oh, shit. And I'm trying to get this dude into the car where my grandmother's waiting. Oh, my God. And at one point, I'm struggling with him, and I look up, and both my uncles are standing just <laughs> yelling with the other people. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers. Oh, and I got to dump his ass into my grandmother's Ford Taurus. I'm oh. like, into the back seat. Bro, dude. This guy's a six foot Hawaiian dude. I'm carrying on my back. I'm 12 years old. And he won't let. He's like talking to me. Fight, yeah, he's like fighting you the whole he's time. He's talking like, to me like about where we're going to go next. Fish. He's looking yeah. for a fucking beer. <laughs> <laughs> some guy's telling him, look, like, he, some, some idiot's like, oh, we're going, hey, uh, hey, uncle, because now he's oh, the old man, right? So everyone's calling him, hey, uncle, we're going to. I'm like, dude, stop inviting him. He's not going. <laughs> oh, he wants man. to go with him. I'm like, you can't uh. even walk. Dude, you, uh, that the fact that that's on your shoulders literally <laughs> is insane. That, that was my old, job. Oh, motherfucker. So how often was this? Was this like a well, weekly every, or just every, when you would visit? Like every house party. Oh man. Cuz we always party together. So you're on you're on grandpa yeah. too. Yeah. I mean, a lot of times it was at his house, so it wasn't a problem. Oh, right. But even then cuz when I lived with them, I had to stay I was staying up with him. Hearing his nonsense. Oh, right. Oh, I would stay right, up with him and just there. hear yeah, 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 nonsense. Yeah, yeah. Right. It'd be three in the morning. I'm uh-huh. 12 years old. I'm just hearing this dude's crazy shit. He could say. <laughs> 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 He's just pounding beers, smoking Chesterfields, telling to be the craziest shit. Dude. Half of it lies because he's like a he's like a compulsive yeah. liar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. He's well, he's entertaining, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's doing the he's, well, he's putting he's a, giving show. You a show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah, giving yeah, me the show. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting the full show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then my grandmother would come out and yell at him. Yeah, because he just, would do it when I'd have school too. He you would know try what? to keep I'm, me. Up. I'm putting together some of our car rides <laughs> together now. I'm like, oh, that's Josh doing his grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> He would just put the show on. Dude. It, I, at times, it was fascinating. That now, was, very dysfunctional and destructive. That was, that was the first podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that was the prototype. <laughs> yeah, carrying that dude out of places was fucking wild. Bro. But tricking him out was the that yeah. was the way to go. Well, it makes you feel like an adult. Oh yeah, um, I oh. always felt like a respected adult. Yeah, because I was asked to do a lot of adult shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I could do it, I was like, and I was impressing people. Yeah. But being a 12 year old, I, I I was the oldest uh, kid. So uh, I had to take care of my brother and sister. And like, yeah, that kind of uh, you get some adulting kind of things. And you're like, yeah, yeah, if it's a good feeling, if, if now it, it's a pain. In the I don't want my son to ever. I want my son to be adjusted enough to handle those things when they come time to be handled. But mm-hmm. I don't want him doing anything I had to do at 12. I was I lo- you're you kind of stop seeing the world as a kid. And that's what happened. And you're like, oh, I kind of missed it. It's probably why now I collect all these little knickknacks around me. It's because I missed out on a lot of shit. And uh, this is the only way I can get it back. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. You think? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of <laughs> I got a lot of knickknacks. <laughs> <laughs> I just, it's just so, it's funny how you... You're judgmental in the face about it because you your room has no... Zero, dude. <laughs> Zero. 
Not a piece of art. Not a picture. I got a couple of like I got a ween poster. I it's got like when the Grinch leaves the people's house, like one like a wire <laughs> that a frame used to be on. I was just thinking this the other day. You know, I, this is how I know I married the right woman because we don't have a headboard for our bed. And she's oh, never pound town in it. She's never uh, requested one, and I've never even thought of getting one. But you hear people talk, "Oh, you don't have a headboard." I'm like, "No." You know what? I have a headboard that is screwed into the wall right mm-hmm. above the bed. That way, it's not attached to the bed. Oh, interesting. And it's padded. Yeah, just so I can lean against it when I watch TV. Mm. I'm a man of uh, luxury. You're luxurious. Yeah, I would say. I would yeah. spend money on. Convenience. People say Josh Ricardo. I'll go. You mean luxurious <laughs> Josh Accardo? Josh Luxury Accardo? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know him. Good friend of mine. <laughs> Classy. <laughs> My mom used to, uh, we were always so fucking broke, but we always wanted to pretend like we had more than we had yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, i've been a victim of that since I'm oh my mom little boy my mom was like that for sure and yeah, my yeah. mom loved this shit called uh finger hut it was a catalog it was probably what wayfair is now back oh. in the 80s uh-huh was it an mlm kind of thing like what were you people you sold did, it was it, a catalog but did people sell it it wasn't like um it was it avon no it wasn't or? like avon you yeah. would get a catalog okay and you would go through the catalog and then you would and she would go through it and it'd be like grandfather clock. It looked like it cost ten thousand. I told you about this, right? No, yeah, but uh, I, no, no. I'm picking it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the stuff that you have. Well, my stuff's real. Yeah, yeah, but, but no. But what I'm saying, like, sometimes you pull out a gadget. I'm like, this is Sky Mall magazine. That you saw <laughs> your <laughs> you, yeah. Amazon shit that I'll buy it for shits and giggles because I have a problem. <laughs> but like, if I'm really gonna use something, it's always I always go uh, review middle of the road. Uh-huh. Like I'll go, okay, what is all the stuff of this really expensive one, but uh-huh. lacks one little useless thing this other one has that makes it more expensive. I go with that one. See, I everything go, I buy. See, I go one up from the worst. Okay, <laughs> I so go, I go two up I go probably from up. the worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. go one up, I go, I go two up. up. Yeah, yeah. Like everything in this place right now, when we move, it's gone. That people can have it, whatever. Oh, We're not taking anything with it. it behind. I yeah. bought everything to last at least five to seven yeah, years. That's smart. And when I say last, I mean just I could clean it if the dog or the kid fucks with it, yeah, yeah. and it just looks put together. Man, I'm not trying I'll to be perfect. What, I would love to move just to unload some of that right? shit that I have. Right? Yeah, just a There's little a, behind. Something about purge, baby. Oof. It feels good. A Man. good purge. What was I talking about? Sky Mall, uh, Avon. Oh, oh, oh so she would buy, like we had this grandfather clock. And the front would fall off every time it turned midnight. I told you about that. Oh. The whole front. The whole face of it. You would think someone's breaking every, into the house. And, I, and you would think. Every midnight? Every midnight? Every midnight. And she, and so she would. Do? You would do tape it? What would you well, do? after a while, we'd have to fucking. I to, we took the bat, she'd take the battery out when we go to bed. <laughs> Because it was ran by these yeah. double A batteries. Yeah, you're laying in bed, you just hear your mom, Josh. I forgot to take the batteries out of the clock. It's like eleven. No, you, you wouldn't even be told because you would hear it crash onto the floor. <laughs> she bought these mirrors once, and my, uh, like, I'm no one in my f- family is handy. We're all like kind of useless. We're, uh, meaning my dad or and my mom. Like yeah. my dad is not a handy person. But my mom on finger had bought these mirrors, and, and they had. Like one of them had um, the Paris sky. Never been to Paris. Never travel out outside of San Diego except for Hawaii. Right. But it was like a Paris skyline, one, <laughs> and one was the Brooklyn Bridge. But there were all these big slats of mirrors. It probably weighed 40, 50 pounds each. Oh, uh, that was a big thing. And then you had to, yeah, remember, yeah. And then you, you had the um, the ridges there that you'd have to measure perfectly, and then you would slide. Oh, in. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, my dad. <laughs> first of all, it took him weeks. He's lazy to even do this shit. Right. And then when he did it, like the Brooklyn Bridge, <laughs> it was a fucking. <laughs> he was going into the into the river. <laughs> That's so good. But she would buy all that kind of shit, and it would be so cheap, and it would break and break and break. Yeah. Oh, I don't know why we talked about that, but. Yeah, I don't know. My dad, uh, my dad, my dad had like some regular stuff. Not never, never really had art up or anything like that. We had when my parents were together, though. My um, they had some like cool paintings up as a kid, and uh, I think I have one of them. But I don't hang. I don't hang a lot of stuff. You know, it's not easy for me to hang stuff because I don't have the 
uh, drywall. Oh. I have plaster, so I got to hang everything. I got to fucking wire it down from oh. uh, the crown molding. Yeah, it's difficult. Oh. It's a pain in the ass. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I realized during the pandemic how my surroundings really have to be in order. Like, I'm, I've been kind of stressed out the last, like, few weeks. So I, I'm cleaning constantly. Oh. Huh. I'm just like, oh, what's that? I'll, or, oh, I just randomly start organizing the fridge. Oh, man. It seems like such a waste of time. Not, I catch not, myself on when I get on some of those. I know because I have a similar thing. Like sometimes when I'm doing it, I'm like, here's here's I'm like, what is this? What is, this is going to take two hours. I'm like, what is I hear you. It's about picking the right task to do because it does suit sure. a purpose. I have I, tasks I, to do, but I always pick the wrong yes. one. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. I always pick one. I'm like, this is just trying to fucking Control, quiet my brain. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like you want to do something where you look back and you go, I'm glad I did that because. Now I'm right. organized, and now yeah, like yeah. it's something less on my on my list. Dude, like I I'll do something like that, like organize the fucking silverware drawer or, or some and stupid it, 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 shit. In two minutes it's out of whack Who again. Who cares? Yeah. And meanwhile, my taxes are sitting there from <laughs> 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 that actually will fucking impact my money. <laughs> Just sitting there, I still haven't done them. <laughs> It's just you eating things out of the fridge that are expired and your taxes undone. Dude, just looking at and just looking at it. Yeah. It's the box that I have to go through all these fucking receipts. Is that a, that's ADHD shit then, right? That's kind of like what they describe that as. I have no idea. <laughs> it's just what you do. It's one of those things I'm never going to look it up. Yeah, I don't want to know. Wanna right. know. You don't I don't want to. It's gonna your do? dad and you. What am I going to do? What are you going to change of it? Yeah, you yeah. you going to go get, get the therapy and change uh, it? What am I Fuck it. I'm over. doing all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making it work. <laughs> I'm putting it all together. I don't want to know all the things. <laughs> <laughs> I like a little mystery. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I got issues. Oh, what are your issues? Oh, who knows? I have no idea. There are issues, though. There are definitely issues. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I remember when someone told me, uh, it sounds like you have anxiety. And I was like, what's that? I mean, you're an anxious. Uh, you know, it's funny because you're so self-aware that it, in my opinion, as someone who's been in therapy for 20 years, it's easy to deal with you in spite of your idiosyncrasies, if you will. Mm -hmm. You know, like the mm -hmm. stuff that... It would, I had a friend, it's so funny. I had a really close friend years ago who's a comedian who was similar to you without the self-awareness. Oh. And it ruined our friendship. Yeah, yeah, sure. Because he was so selfish. Yeah, yeah. And he was so oh, self-involved. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because your shit could be very selfish. Yeah. If you didn't know what was going on. Right. Imagine people not, like, you not being able to explain why you're fretting over some kind of detail that could from the outside look kind of meaningless right but you're making a huge deal out of it our money mm -hmm. if you're not able to tell people like i'm really frugal mm -hmm. you're not able to articulate that properly right right right. and right, you right. drag people into it with you yeah, yeah, yeah i mean those are deal breakers in friendships sometimes if you're not able to articulate that totally. stuff and you're able to so i never picked up on you being classic dysfunctional that would be detrimental to our friendship ever it's just now like that's fucking stupid shit Ed does. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I, it's kind of enjoyable. It doesn't affect me ever really. Yeah. So I got some things. You doesn't know what affect I mean? you in a negative way. Like it's yeah, it is what it is. It's it's, I'm, I, it's okay. Yeah, I mean I don't know if it's gonna, you know, it's I get to like you know seventy if it's gonna be like uh, man I gotta you know I think I'm, it comes down to your wife. I guess. it's about who's gonna spend the most time with you and that stuff ends up either irking them. Or becoming endearing, or you improve it enough where you evolve together. It's all where it goes. That's what I mean. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all your like little yeah, things. So Lauren and I just celebrated 14 years of being like the day we met. Oh, cool. And I was like, man, as hard as it can be being with someone that long, we did it through like three of those years was a pandemic, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, 13 of them we lived together. So. It's pretty impressive to stay together. Listen, I, I'll just say this: right before, as I was setting up for the for the pod, uh, you were walking around singing, and I was just like, "Man, God bless her." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, they they're doing really good. If she's not, she's not. She has no problem with this. Uh, <laughs> 
Yeah, dude, I, I'm hard to live with. <laughs> uh, you could follow me at Josh Ricardo and go to joshricardo.com for all tour dates. Uh, and subscribe and all that stuff too, and rate rate us like uh, that's a thing, oh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comment, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And I hear engagement's a, a thing. Yeah. So call to action call, for those of you in marketing. Call, right? call to action. I got a call to action. Call subscribe and comment and say thanks for the work. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, yeah, and like our fucking video, like and click on shit. our shit, yeah. Send us a compliment and a uh-huh. DM. Send us an email. Tell email Eddie us. doesn't look fat. Yeah, talk about. I didn't wear a belt today because it's so hot. <laughs> I didn't know you were wearing belts. To, <laughs> where's a belt with shorts? <laughs> you fucking zookeeper. <laughs> all right, we'll see you guys again next week. You can listen to us on all major podcast platforms every Wednesday. You can follow us on Instagram at Working Class Holes. Also, make sure you watch the full show on YouTube. All you got to do is type in Working Class Holes. And please don't forget to rate us five stars and tell a friend. Come on. 